Okay, so for this problem, let's start with a diagram. So let's say these are our axes. I just redrew the axes because the ones I wrote first look like garbage. And so it says the car drives 225 kilometers west. So the very first vector we'll represent points directly to the left, towards the western direction. And we'll call that the displacement west. Then the car travels 98 kilometers southwest at a 45 degree angle. So from the end of our western arrow, we'll then go in this southwestern direction. And so this, I'll label this the displacement southwest, SW. The resultant vector goes from the origin all the way to the ending point. So from this origin all the way to, yeah. It's hard to get the line straight, unfortunately. But yeah, that's about right. And that's the resultant vector, so we'll call it displacement R. Now when the problem asks for the displacement of the car from the point of origin, it's basically just asking for the length of the resultant displacement. It's asking for the length of dr. And to find that, we need to get the horizontal and vertical components of the car's total motion. So first, let's work out its westward displacement. So I'll, I'll label the x and y axes, basically. And so the x displacement includes the 225 kilometers that it traveled to the, to the west, plus however far it traveled horizontally during the 45 degree angle trip. When we have something that's angled and we're looking for the x component, we take the result or we take the uh, the magnitude of the vector, 98 kilometers, and multiply it by the cosine of the angle it's at, which is 45 degrees. So if we put that into a calculator, we find that the horizontal displacement is 294.3 kilometers. Now let's do the same thing for the y component. During the first leg of the journey, the car is not traveling south or north at all. So the first, so the 225 kilometers component just can be ignored when we're looking at the y. And then for the angled, that's 98 kilometers times the sine of 45 degrees. And if you put that into a calculator, you get 69.3 kilometers. <laughs> 69. So to find the resultant, we just take the square root of the sum of the squares. So 299 point, or 294.3 kilometers squared plus 69.3 kilometers squared, and the whole thing's under a square root. And this gives us 302 kilometers. So that is the magnitude of the vector. But now we're also asked for the angle. So to find the angle, the angle is equal to the inverse tangent of the y component, or the vertical component, divided by the horizontal component. So in our case, the y component is 69.3 kilometers divided by the x component of 294.3 kilometers. And put this into a calculator and make sure your calculator is in degree mode and you get 13 degrees. And because we were using positive angles starting from the negative x-axis, this is specifically going to be 13 degrees south of west. It's important we specify that because if we don't, then 13 degrees could mean like four different things, which is not very helpful. Alright, that's it for this problem, and I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. And if you have a request for a future video, leave a comment down below. Bye-bye.